the Vridge app that allows you to play Oculus games uh, using your Android phone and a, a, a lesser compatible PC that does not cost $1,000. Um, it will not give you the same exact experience as an Oculus. It does not support um, positional tracking. Um, however, and, and it is also compressed video, unlike uh, the Oculus. It's kind of like a, a Trinus in that way, except for Trinus is like forcing games to work in VR, whereas this is uh, using actual Oculus applications. So it supports the Oculus head tracking. And yeah, so this is this is called Zoran. Uh, I'm not sure that I said that right, but um, it is a kind of a relaxation application. You go down the river and stuff. I have the uh, the compression set as high quality as possible, 1080p. I think it's like 30 megabytes per second. My phone that I'm looking at right now has a 2K screen. And uh, this is it. Uh, the frame rate is not as good as it's going to get on the... Uh, so you're going to get on the Rift or anything. Um, the, phone, the frame rate on my PC is way better than this. So it's not an issue with my PC. It's the streaming. But it works, and you can actually... Um, look at uh, or try out some Oculus applications. Not every application is actually uh, supported. This is fairly cool. Uh, this gets, I, I like it better later on, this app later on, because it gets kind of dark and evil and shit. <laughs> um, I'm not going to play the whole thing. It's really long. The graphics look really nice. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, some games I, I couldn't get to work. Um, this is still in beta, so, um, you know, there's some issues like, uh, obviously there's stuttering. I think you may have seen that in this recording. Uh, I don't know that it, that the recording app I'm using in my phone is not causing any of it, uh, but I do notice it without recording applications. So, um, yeah. So, another thing it, with if you don't have a Oculus, uh, you're going to notice you know the the little screen door effect because of the lower resolutions. And, uh, yeah. I don't have headphones on. I'm using a speaker so that it'll feed the audio into the mic on my phone. Um. But, yeah, that's that. Uh, let me look all the way around. Oh, oh. I, I did, uh, I have my phone is plugged in. <laughs> um. I'm kind of low on battery. And somebody mentioned something about it supporting USB for streaming, but I have not seen anything like that from the developer, so I'm, it seems like they may be assuming that. <laughs> but I'm actually using the USB for power because my phone is like 20% or some crap. <laughs> so I'm trying to look as far behind me as I can without pulling the USB again. Um... Wish I could use positional tracking. That's one thing. You only have like rotation and stuff. So I can't look over the boat, the edge of the boat at the water. I don't know if you can even do that. I don't know what this, this supports, but it's a fairly cool application. It would be so much better if there wasn't so much with artifacting and blurring and uh, performance dips. So hopefully... Uh, with time, that will improve, and you won't have to worry about that so much. I hope. I'm going to have to uh, uh, fix the rotation, <laughs> or whatever, the center, center of the view. But, uh, yeah. 3D looks cool. 
I think it could be better. I don't know. It could be better if you used the Rift, but uh, some of the stuff seems like it could have a little more spacing, like for the boat to the water. There could be a little more depth there. It's really cool when the birds come in and stuff and shit. <laughs> and shit. And try to center my view again. There's another, yeah, that's another issue. Oh, I screwed something up. Alright. Yeah, there's an issue. Now I'm getting no sound. Oh, I just killed it. Uh, anyways, that that's the application, but... Uh, I accidentally killed it because I got to use the keyboard and I can't see it and I'm trying to friggin' do stuff and then I press wrong buttons and stuff. I don't know if it supports a controller. That would be a hell of a lot better, but... As it stands, that's the application, so I figured I'd show you something running on it. I'll do more gameplays of that and, uh... I just wanted to talk about it and tell you how it worked. Some things aren't compatible. Uh, Project Cars didn't work. In fact, nothing that I actually tried to use that was not in this, this store, in this desktop application, none of it worked. Uh, so far, I've tried like three th different things, and none of it worked. So, um, you know, like I said, they're working on it. Hopefully, they really get it going, because uh, a, a VR that people can afford is a lot better to me than some kind of, like, $1,600 bullshit that the people who are struggling to eat can't afford. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching.